These videos were made under direct and constant supervision of local election authorities. No voting occurred in these videos and test ballots were used. These videos are for educational purposes only. This video will give you all the information you need to ensure voters can properly use the Election Systems and Software Express Vote voting machine. Here's what we'll be covering today. Preparing the machine for voter use. Identifying and assisting with the voter's accessibility needs. Voting using the accessibility options. And finalizing the voter's ballot when they are done. Voters will be given a blank ballot at check-in that they will bring to the voting machine themselves. They can feed the ballot into the machine themselves or with the aid of a poll worker. Once the ballot has been fed into the machine, the poll worker will ensure the correct ballot style and that the correct ballot has been chosen. This is done by scanning a code given to poll workers at the beginning of the day. Once scanned, the worker can then choose the correct ballot for the voter. Once a ballot has been chosen, the poll worker will need to make sure that the voter's accessibility needs are met before they can begin voting. The options available on this handset are as follows. Directional controls shaped like triangles along with a square-shaped select button can be found in the middle of the handset. A diamond-shaped screen adjust button can be found in the upper right. Below that is the repeat audio button, followed by tempo and volume control. The pause button can be found just left of the volume control. And lastly, the home button can be found in the bottom left corner of the handset. Additionally, there are display options available for adjusting both the screen's contrast and brightness. Now that the voter has been set up for success, they can begin voting. The voter can now proceed through the entire ballot. Depending on the size of the ballot, this could take some time. After finishing, a page displaying all of the questions answered will appear for review. Once they've reviewed their ballot and any changes have been made, the ballot can be printed. After the ballot has printed, either the voter or the poll worker will take it to the ballot scanner. Now that the ballot has been fed into the ballot scanner, the voting process has finished. For more information on the accessible voting equipment at your voting place, contact your local clerk or election authority. If you're not sure who that is, visit the link at the bottom of the screen or click the link in the description of this video. This project was funded by the Missouri Developmental Disabilities Council. Special thanks to Angie Minner, Mendy Quinn, Mark Satterwhite, Brianna Lennon, Boone County Clerk, Boone County Clerk Staff, Cosmic Sauce Productions, and the Missouri Developmental Disabilities Council.